Welcome back to the Snipe Museum of Art. We're standing outside today and we have an opportunity to appreciate in greater detail one of the most significant and rewarding pieces in the entire permanent collection, Tale Teller 6 by the Spanish artist Jaume Plenza. Some of you probably were first introduced to this work out in the Charles Hayes Sculpture Park, but in order to make room for the new Racklin Murphy Museum of Art, we've had to move it here in front of the museum. And it's been a big hit. People thoroughly enjoy the opportunity to encounter this piece and to consider what it could possibly mean to us. Let me take a step out of the way so you can appreciate this work wonderful gift to us from Bill and Julie Ballard and have you enjoy more directly. Based in Barcelona, Plenza is perhaps one of the most important and profound artists working on the international stage. Many examples of his works can be found across the United States, Europe, and Asia. Americans first came to know Plenza through an enormous project that he did in Chicago called the Crown Fountain. Many of you have probably been down on Michigan Avenue to enjoy. But Tale Teller 6 looks very different than Crown Fountain. It's a form in space made of stainless steel and a boulder. Whereas the Crown Fountain involves technology and glass and video, this perhaps is a little bit more traditional in terms of what we think about in terms of sculpture. Plenza has been an international contributor to world culture for more than two decades. One of the things that he says about his role as a sculptor is that he understands sculpture as the union of something physical with an abstract idea. He sees sculpture as a union of thought and matter. So let's examine the second half of that statement, matter. What are we looking at here? Well, as mentioned, we're dealing with a series of stainless steel characters characters that are like an open lattice work or a skin that combine to form a figure open but seated on a boulder. The bottom part in particular seems as if it's melting across the surface of the stone. The alphabets here are Arabic, English, Greek, Hebrew, and Japanese. Their calligraphy melds together becomes one to form a kind of international dialogue that ultimately forms a figure. If you think about these languages as a kind of skin, they form the outer surface, the outer form of a figure. One that's shown seated, knees drawn up, sitting pensively on the rock. There's a quiet to the work a mood of calm lending itself to introspection is here. You'll notice that although we can see the tops of the knees and the elbows and the shoulders and even very clearly sense the back, there is no face. It's been left open. In doing so, rather than making about an individual, rather about talking about a specific person, Plenza lets this sculpture be about all of us. Every person, regardless of background or race or creed. It's a sculpture about humanity. It's a sculpture about us. Plenza uses language and refers to literature frequently in his career. In some ways, he is as much of a poet as he is a sculptor. He grew up in a house where literature was important. Throughout his life, authors like William Blake 
and Dante and Oscar Wilde have been an important source of inspiration in his work. So it shouldn't surprise us that, in this instance, the elements of literature, the elements of language, the universality of language plays a role in defining his sculpture. Remember that it's a union of matter and thought. For Plenza, perhaps one poetic idea is strongly felt over others in this work as a literary reference. In Rabelais' Gargantuan Pantagruel, there's a scene where sailors on deck of a freighter in the North Sea are so cold that when they speak, their words go out and freeze and drop to the ground. That beautiful poetic notion of language becoming form, dropping to the ground, provides Plensa with an opportunity to gather, to bring together, and to form a new kind of humanity. For Plensa, communication as being at the very essence of our humanity is not linked to any one person, not to any one culture, but to all cultures across the globe. He is an international thinker. He's talked about the fact that, quote, everybody is the same. Everybody is the same. And we are all a little universe unto ourselves. In Tale Teller 6, we have an opportunity to confront something that is hopefully calming, something that is inspiring, but something also that helps us to reflect on a notion of the greater good of all humanity coming together, thinking about those elements in which we are bonded, in which we are made to understand and think about one another and thinking about ourselves. Plensa, one of the most highly regarded sculptors of our time, an individual who's making a huge impact across the globe is right here at your museum. This is a sculpture, yes, about language and about communication. It's one that deals with forms and stainless steel and stone. It's one that talks about a lot of different ideas about individuality. But ultimately, it's a sculpture about us. Stop by the museum. Hope you have a chance to enjoy this piece, and we hope to see you very soon.